It's interesting, like, like, all the skills basically warn you about not letting them get too high, or maybe it could be fun to let them get too high. Uh, alright, yeah, let's interact with this. The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de Songis Lane and Rue Sansipa, over Saint Brun and Martinez North. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. If it did, that would be spooky. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. <laughs> Excellent. Martinez District in Jamrock Quarter of Riversal Zone of Control. Church. Broken window. Oh, so that's that's okay, 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 okay. That's the whirling in rags. There's a church over here. Fisherman shacks that way. The Martinez waterfront. We've just wandered into this shop here. Okay. Now oh, there are, are checks that we can do. Oh, we didn't do... And we can see where they are. Oh yeah, good old mirror. Maybe we'll try those when we go back to our room. Actually, we can't go back to our room because we have to pay. We don't know how to pay. Let's put the map away for now. Uh. Alright. Well, it's cool that I bought something. I like that they make the map of your immediate area cheap enough that you can buy it with the money that you find. All right, now let's talk about this Hello fucking again, curtain. Officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Why are you so uptight about those curtains? I just want to know what's on the other I side. I told you, it's just a storage room for employees. I don't understand why it's so important to you. It didn't become important to me until you got so uptight just about let it. Let it go, officer. Go buy some goddamn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. <laughs> if it's just a storage room, then why do you have that strange trinket on the curtains? It's just for decoration. Just for decoration. She wavers under your gaze, mouth pressed into a tight-lipped smile, then something breaks. Okay, fine. It's just because this place is cursed, just like everyone said. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Mm. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? She closes her eyes and starts mumbling something to her defendant. You've broken her resistance. Pushing her further will gain nothing. Hmm. Have you sought help from anyone? Gonna take suggestion, suggestion. Yes, I've contacted numerous parapsychologists <laughs> and even a pair of Simonies mediators. They provided me with the wards. Oh, I see. The wards help to keep the doom at bay and protect us against the darkness that lies further in the building. Even though now I fear it's not enough. Is your pendant part of the wards as well? Oh. No, it's a special Hymian amulet, blessed by desert pygmy shamans, with a spell of compulsion. It's to compel people to buy books. Okay. <laughs> there are numerous spells cast throughout the store. I had the books anointed with a different inducement spell, for example. It's guaranteed to boost sales 15%. 
<laughs> That's why we're supposed to be drawn to the books. Okay. You must have known that these spells weren't enough because you had your daughter standing outside in the cold to bring people in. <laughs> How does this curse manifest itself? It's so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. Hmm. It's the curse of financial distress, of ruin and bankruptcy. Hmm. Didn't, didn't that curtain just move? <laughs> Wait, that's it? I was hoping for something more paranatural. That, honestly, that's my reaction. But officer, there's nothing natural about entire companies declaring bankruptcy. I'm talking about caca demons feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. Hmm. There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence, as if I was unwanted here. <laughs> Could it be your general demeanor? Sounds familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. I feel unwanted too. What does it mean? Truly so? Perhaps the dark energies are leeching off you. You shouldn't stay in the store too long. It may be dangerous. <laughs> Would you like me to take the case? I could investigate, see if the curse is real. Most certainly not. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be so they can return to their slumber. Psychic arts? Sounds right down our alley. Huh. I've helped in that. I'm the master of the psychic arts. How did I become that? Uh, sure. Let's try to convince her. Slither up to her, you silver-tongued fiend. <laughs> Show her what world-class perfidy looks like. Wait, what if I don't want to lie? <laughs> Ma'am, I came here to help. I've handled paranatural situations before. Are you sure? Don't think I haven't seen charlatans before. I wonder what Kim thinks of all this. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to know which of these to pick? I sense the psychic emanations from afar. The sleeper Rian calls out. I'm not sure I can trust your claims. Honestly, you look like a bit of a drinker. I'm sorry for being so blunt, but... Hey now, hey, hey, hey. You need the booze to focus, <laughs> all right? Fucking electrochemistry. <laughs> oh, boy. The lieutenant keeps his usual stony calm. He silently picks out his notebook. Uh -huh. Go ahead, then. Rock her world, he thinks. I'll compose some notes. Hmm. I'm not going to go with this one because... Her reaction to me being a drinker is weird, and she seems to know about this stuff, right? Um, so... I'm gonna go with this. I, I admit I've had my share of drinks, but only because the spectral realm is parapsychologi parapsychologically taxing. How do you know all this? Here we go. <laughs> I am the Void Revenant. I have the powers to debad all the bad energy. <laughs> I should have realized a pattern lies within the fabric. The hand of fate guides us. 
Our meeting couldn't have been mere chance. A absolutely not. Perhaps you truly are the one to deliver this woman from the doom. Oh no. Am I starting to believe my own bullshit? But I am not the only one at risk. I have to think of my oh. daughter. You are certain you can help us? Keep us safe? I can't allow any collateral damage to hit us. Am I going to pull Kim into this? You bet your ass I'm going to pull Kim into this. Just ask my partner, Kim. He'll vouch well, for me. Uh... <laughs> yep. Certainly so, ma'am. I can assure you my partner is eminent in this particular field. Smooth. If you promise, good officer, then you might be our last hope. Do you swear it? Oh, it gives me the chance to abandon, but I'm not going to. I, on my honor. Hey, sir, there's one more thing I haven't told you about yet. The entity. The entity? Do not act surprised. You know of these things, sire. <laughs> I will take drama's cue. Of course. The entity. Have we seen? I think I've I've read drama on my own. I don't think we've, we've done this since I started playing. Though, uh, play the actor, lie, and detect lies. Cool for undercover cops, thespians of the stage, psychopaths. Drama urges you to treat the world as a stage. Oh, we did that. Yeah, very first uh, stream slash episode. We did this. Yes. Um. My bad. Of course. The entity. For I have sensed its presence. You have? The entity takes the form of a woman. A witch, probably. I've suspected that she must be connected to the curse ever since I first saw her. Did you know that she lives inside the chimney? Chimney. Passage between heaven and hell, of course. Yes. That chimney is part of the building's central furnace, and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. God knows what she's doing there. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance with this game that this woman turns out to not be crazy. Some unnatural magic, I assume. Uh -huh. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. What is the source of this curse? Here's the key to the warded door behind the curtains. Take it. Oh, and please do return to me after you've looked round. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. What you discover in there. Ha! <laughs> Unbelievable darkness and ruin. Oh. I had a few more questions about the curse. Okay, but please, only a few questions. You wouldn't want to disturb the spirits. Why didn't you just tell me right away it's the curse? I can ask this now because I haven't... Like, I did what suggestion suggested. I didn't push her hard. And now we've come to an understanding. And now I can ask her, why you, Why didn't you just tell it's me? It's not good to talk about the curse. Not in detail. The negativism. It's dangerous. Talking about the void wraiths angers them. Such wraiths may prove a formidable enemy. Suit up. The woman looks aloof, her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. Hmm. Farewell for now. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to the whirling in rags because we have some more business with our pal Gart. And there's so many, like, I remember this call box had like 15 different names or things. Jesus, we haven't even left the area. <laughs> oh, there's people in here now. Oh. Oh. 
he's still trying to fix his damn bird. Can I help you? Here is your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. Who else has keys to the trash container? The trash collection service? CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. On Clinton Street, near mm. the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck rattles down an alleyway. It stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container despondently. CSM is written on their backs. Thank you, anyway. Put someone on your staff? I put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. And now, I'm going to fuck with him. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Uh, well played, guard. Yes. Well played. Yes. Have you got it? <laughs> Actually, let's talk about I something else. Thought. I was really enjoying talking about the money you owe me. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Oh, wow. I ran. We got people in here now. It's all about money, you know. You gotta spend money to make money. Alright, what's this? Bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. A man is sleeping at the table, wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with with a tree. On the counter, rolled out of his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Hmm. Oh. Nice, because I talked to Gart first. He caused a ruckus. I'm gonna pick up the, the pills. Does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. You've just picked up some magnesium. This item is stored in the bottom left corner of the screen above your character portrait. Uh huh. Use magnesium to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Done that before. Let's try to wake him up. There is only one way to wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the buildings from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mind a yelling man. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking good. <laughs> You're alive? You looked out for the long count there. Wait, what? No, he was just sleeping. What do you want, officer? Officer, even after a rude awakening, this dock worker respects the police more than they usually do, at least. Aww. Tell me about Wild Pines. That's the name of my employer. I work in logistics. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. Uh, how's that going? How's it going? <laughs> I 
Haven't you noticed what's going on outside? I'm not sure what you mean. We're in the middle of a strike down at the arbor. Trying to force some sense into the executive board of Wild Pines. For one, I get you some more shut-eye in the mornings. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. Hmm. Why are you sleeping here while the others are out striking? They got it. Majored's got it. He's guarding the gate. I just getting some sleep. Or was. <laughs> the way he says Measurehead implies ultimate trust in this Head Reckoner's physical prowess. He seems like a worthy rival. You should slay him. I think an alternate name for physical instrument is Machismo. Hmm. Who's behind organizing the strike? We are. The workers. The union. We know what we need. What's right for us. You mean there's no leader? Okay. I guess there's also Everard. He's in charge of the union. He's smart. Knows how to negotiate. He's got our back. What about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? I'm just trying to find out what you know about it. You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, another one falls in a mano, a third one gets eaten by stray dogs. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it my concern? It's cold as shit. Someone has to look into it. Looks looks like I'm that someone. Tell me what you know. Oh, he can tell you this. Trouble's ahead. Hmm. Huh. You have a pretty solid feeling that the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong. But even he has reasons to be cautious here. Ah. Uh. What trouble? You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know. And I prefer to keep it this way. Uh. The lieutenant gives you a little nod. Then makes a note in his blue notebook. So Union people think he was a killer, he thinks. Even sleepy here. This doesn't help a lot, but it's something. Good work, detective. Hmm. Yours? Point at the bottle and the spilt rum. Indeed. Help yourself to some. Wait, no. Oh, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. See anything interesting in your dreams? Thank God, no. Oh, <laughs> I get. <laughs> Tell me, was it a bliss free of X something? The worker stares at you, his eyes dry from sleep. A web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No X anything. Just quality time. A little me time in the abyssal pelagic zone. Huh. You can never return to it now. Only detective work remains. Wakefulness and detection. All right. I'll let you the sleep. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is already back down on the table in sweet sleep. I envy you, dude.